Assalamu alaikum. Today's tutorial is going to be about Assassin's Creed Odyssey story mode. So Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a game, uh, a very popular game and uh, Ubisoft, the developers of that have created a story mode for it. It's a website through which you can create additional missions, stories uh, for the game which are all playable within the game so if you have played that game uh, before then you will be seeing that there are blue sto uh, blue quest icons appearing within the game those blue quest icons as compared to the golden ones are the ones that are stories created by the users themselves rather than the developers so this gives uh, the game a very long life it's like the concept of modding that used to exist in PC games before but with the era of consoles that concept has reduced but with the story mode you can create additional missions which are very easy to make and it gives a real sense of logical thinking of game design to the people as well anybody who is who has a concept of how the game works or a game quest are designed or how they are played can make those quests without knowing any programming at all it's a very basic tool it has its own limitations based on the type of objectives that you can set up so for example you can set up objectives to kill someone to escort someone to free someone to go to a specific location but there are some other objective types that should exist but right now this uh, at the time of this video this service was in beta so during beta testing there are some objectives that you cannot set up for example ship missions or uh, colossus fighting those kind of things or uh, hunting those objectives cannot be set as of now but we hope that with time actually this story mode will develop and more and more features will be added to access the assassin's creed story mode go to assassins creed.com once the main assassins creed website opens click this menu button and from here you will see this story creator mode so click the story creator mode uh, this is in Arabic let me switch to English so this is the story creator mode website I can discover stories or I can create a story by myself uh, there is also a user manual available I highly recommend that you do look at this user manual because based on all the commands you will get at least the basic guidance on how to use those commands but some of those I will cover or at least the logic I will cover and that will give you a sense of things to come so once you click create a story you will be brought to this page uh, right now I have four draft stories that you can see here which I'm working on any project that you are working on will appear as a draft story and those that you formally publish become accessible to the users online uh, so let me see these are my draft stories to create a new story by default it will be empty for you to create a new story click create new story and this is the interface let me maximize my screen so this is the interface of uh, the story creator for Assassin's Creed the first thing you have to do is give it a name let me for example call it John Wick's Revenge <coughs> and then synopsis you have to mention John Wick dog has been killed and you are supposed to take revenge for him you have to select which language dialogue is going to be in for me I'm going to select English the starting location so this is where your character will start when the story starts or uh, where you want the portal story portal to be there where users can go and start the story 
so if I zoom out this is the whole Assassin's Creed Odyssey map and you can start the story from anywhere you want so let's say I want this story to be somewhere starting from somewhere I can zoom in I can click on any location in the world and that will be my starting point so let's say I want my story to start on this road so once I've selected the position I will click confirm and this will be the starting point for my story add photo to your story you can add a main thumbnail to your main uh, story but once you have actually tested your story within the game then you can take snapshots during while playing the game and then select a photo whatever photos you take within the game gets uploaded to the ubisoft website and if you click add a photo all those photos that you have taken while playing the game will become available here and from then you can select the photo that represents your story uh, so i right now i have clicked any other photo it's not for this story but just to show you how it will work now your story is going to have a beginning and an end as well as one or multiple quest so at least one quest within a main overall story is required so you can break down your main story into multiple quest uh, I will give you a simple example for now I'm going to start a new quest so once you start an unnamed quest will come here most of the interface is drag and drop so I'm going to drag this in between here I can rearrange this so what I'm going to do is once the story starts then this is my first quest now to edit this quest because I have not defined anything for this double click it once you double click then you will get a whole list of menus or options that you can choose from and on the right side the properties band you will get the quest name so previously you gave the name of a story this is for an individual quest within the game so let's say John Wick's problem talk to John Wick to find his problem to resolve his problem of bandits so that's going to be the first quest so the first thing you are going to do is select a quest starter this is the point from which your quest will start you can have a zone that once a player enters a zone a quest automatically starts you can have a free prisoner a quest starter which means that you have to free up someone from a prison and then the quest will start or you can have a talk for 99% of your quest this will be the case that you're talking to someone and he gives you a quest so once you add a talk starter on the properties menu you're going to get edit dialogue the option to either play uh, the user will have the option to talk to that person only one time or he can repeatedly talk to the same person and he will tell the same dialogue just to give the option to the user that in case he has missed some uh, dialogue he can talk to the person again uh, and here is where I'm going to add the actor as of now you can only add two characters in a talking scenario not more than two I hope this feature changes later on but as of now only two characters right now I don't have any additional actors in my story already made so that's why it's giving me the option to add an actor and here I don't have any actor name so it's giving me the option add new character so I'm going to add a new character so there are some character templates already available here from which you can choose that what's going to be the looks of the character don't think about his um, 
orientation about his affiliation with any factions within the game that we can set for now and even the name you just have to select that what is the look of the hero that you want or look of the character that you want to use let's say this is my character that I want to use as John Wick click next and now I'm going to change his name to John Wick and here is what faction he actually is belongs to based on his faction his affiliation to you will automatically be set by default and that we can change later on as well but by default this uh, this will also dictate what weapons he carries so let's say I want John Wick to be a civilian so in civilian I have three categories medium poor rich doesn't matter so I'm going to select that he's a civilian now civilians by default will not be attacked by anyone other than bandits in the game as well and will ha not attack you as well and if you want this character not to die by mistake even by your hands or someone else's hand then uncheck this now for every character he needs to have a spawn point in the world once you actually go back which wherever you left the map last time it will open the map from the same location so now I can see some specific spawn points unlike your own spawn point or the story start point which was this flags uh, the spawn point for other characters are limited to the specific locations marked on the map so you can only place them there not at unreachable locations uh, some points will show as a spawn, big spawn symbol and a number which means that you can zoom in and then more details of spawn points will come in let's say my quest was starting here and there are three spawn points available so I'm going to select a spawn point which is close to this location so that I can see the character in front of me when the story starts so this is the start point for this character I will confirm and now I have those two characters who are going to talk I have to click edit dialogue now for the dialogue another sub menu opens because for dialogue we can have a lot of uh, things that are set up or variables that can be set up using the discussion the most basic one is that you are just going to talk without any variables or multiple scenarios happening so drag a sequence a talking sequence so these are the sequence lines click edit sequence and now on the left side are your two actors the hero as well as John Wick so for the hero you can select at what kind of action should he be making while talking so let's say I'm going to be selecting um, this thinking arm crossed whereas for John Wick he is going to be furious now this is this picture says that this is going to be my line the top section is for general neutral play lines so whether you are playing with a male or female this is the line that will be used but if you want a specific dialogue that in case you are playing with a female character then you can type a specific line here that what should that dialogue be so for gender neutral or a male line I'm going to say what is the problem I'm going to keep these dialogues short just to give you a tutorial I'm going to click add a line change the character to John Wick and then say some bandits killed my dog and I want you to take take revenge you can also select that what will be their facial expressions while talking this okay so for example sad same 
you can do for the hero you can add more lines I'm going to keep this short at least you have the concept and once you have added these lines you have to click validate so uh, some things are still not uh, implemented in this beta but the purpose of validation is that in case you have used an offensive word in the game then it will not let you validate those things so right now it's also giving some errors here those are just meaning that we have things in the dialog which are not linked so once the dialog starts drag this line to this so that it knows this is the first sentence they will talk about but still there is no outcome of this let's say we are going to give a choice to the hero so the hero is going to say should I kill their dogs and the second choice is you want all the bandits dead validate so now I have a choice so after this dialogue this choice should activate and it's giving me two outcomes now should I kill the dogs and now accordingly we can actually have two different missions being started based on the outcomes to keep things simple I'm going to have a sequence so when the hero says should I kill the dogs let's say John Wick replies I'm going to add another sequence no I just their dogs didn't do anything wrong just kill the bandits and let's say the hero says I am on it done validate and now I have this dialogue so if he says should I kill the dog this dialogue should activate but let's add another sequence if you want if the character selects should I kill the bandits then John Wick says exactly you read my mind and then the hero says okay I'm on it so in this case even though we created two separate dialogues but the outcome is still the same that you will get a mission to kill the bandits and once you have finished you have to select this dialogue end and whatever is the outcome you can leave it on two outcomes but in my case both the dialogues or branches have the same outcome so once you have this confirm dialogue and validate the overall dialogue input so a quest starter which is a talking type has started the interface of a talk starter as well as an objective to talk to someone works exactly the same the only thing is this is a starting point of the quest and this is an in-between quest uh, objective that you can add so once this has been done the next objective you want to give to your character is a kill objective so for a kill objective you're going to have kill the bandit leader and you're going to have a counter for your target right now this is fixed but later on once the beta version is over they will have more target types to maybe a counter of random people that you can kill but as of now we are going to add a specific target that you have to kill so I'm going to add a target right now I have only one character in my story which is John Wick of course I need another character who is going to be acting as a bandit leader so let's say I select this character as being the bandit leader who I need to kill click next and I'm going to name him dog killer now for of course since I want to kill him so his option should be that he can be killed his factions I can select by default this character is a bandit or a pirate and that is exactly what I want so I don't need to 
change this for him also I need a spawn point now now I'll discuss this legend this legend actually helps you tell that what area is controlled by what kind of people so for example if you see here there is a bandit symbol and it will show you their influence circle so that means by default there will be more bandits in this region as well when it comes to this Athenian symbol so this is showing their influence that there will be Athenian guards in this region right now for my story I'm going to select this bandit camp that this is where he's going to be so let me zoom in yeah so this is a bandit area now this helps me also in the sense that I don't have to create a lot of unique characters for a person to kill of course I can but by default uh, within the game world there will be a lot of normal bandits and their leaders and I can just have my character of the bandit type within the same area now they will actually all join forces based on their faction type so that's why factions are important so if I'm going to have a main villain which is a Spartan then I would preferably place him in a Spartan zone so that the other characters can help him during the fight so confirm now I have a target that he has to kill kill count is one of course I can add more kill targets and the kill count can increase validate so once this is validated I can connect this that as an outcome of this dialogue I don't have a fail objective I can connect this sometimes you can have dialogues which can fail lead to failure as well but in this case it's just a simple dialogue and both will just activate the mission so once this mission starts what's the outcome of success so if the hero is able to actually kill him what should happen next then I can have more type of missions or I can just let him talk back to John Wick report back to John Wick so add an actor which is John Wick that once you have done this edit the dialogue sequence edit sequence the job is done and let's say John Wick says thank you very much validate so this is the start of my dialogue this is the end of my dialogue confirm dialogue very simple validate and now I connect these two that once he has killed the dog killer he reports back to John Wick and on the top I have the quest success so this is the success of my quest so now my quest is finished of killing the dog I can close the quest and now in my story I have my first quest ready if I just want one quest story then I can click this to story end and now all the validation errors went away because now everything is linked up and my story has an outcome my quest has an outcome so that was a very simple example of how you can create a quest you can save this and now when you will go to the game you will have this quest available to test your story mode uh, go to your xbox pc playstation whatever you're using and run assassin's creed you must be logged in to the same profile uh, on your xbox or pc with which you have logged into your ubisoft website so that you can see your stories here On the main menu, you will see the options of My Stories. So select My Stories. And here you will be able to see all your draft as well as published story. So here is for example, John Wick's Revenge. And this is the checkpoint or the starting point for it. Hold A to launch the story.
now the quest has started and as you can see I'm on the road where I had set up for the game to start and here is John Wick ready to be talked to and a mission icon is appearing on his head and he's help asking do you need help and some bandits kill my dog please take my revenge so that's your the John Wick for you and the options that we added that do you want the dog skilled or the bandit skilled anyway so that's how the story mode works in real life whether it's on xbox playstation or pc you can select uh what you uh, you can check those anywhere so it instantly you whenever you develop it on the website it instantly is available against your account online you don't have to import export or do anything to it it will be available there for testing so hopefully this was interesting for you and uh, have fun making stories if you make any story please share it with me as well i love to play this game and it will be fun to actually play your stories and enjoy them thank you